Hello hi everyone, my name is Nehal and welcome to One Class's stream. Today we'll be covering a few math questions. Uh, these questions have been popularly asked uh, on our website and mostly range from the high school to university college level questions. Um, just a little bit about myself. Um, so I'm a University of Waterloo graduate. I went there to study mechanical engineering. I graduated in 2018 and uh, um, since then, I've been working in the plastics industry as a project engineer. Um, I recently decided that I would want to do a master's degree, so I'm starting my master's in mechanical engineering as well from the University of Toronto in January. So really looking forward to that. All right, uh, without further ado, let's get into some math questions. Let's do it. Okay. So the question one for today is find a quadratic model for the set of values and we're given three points. So let's just call them point A, which is minus two comma 20, B, which is zero comma negative four, and C, which is four comma negative 20. Okay, so given these three points, we need to first recall what the standard formula for a quadratic equation is. So the standard formula for a quadratic equation is y is equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. So we need to, to, to be able to write these points in a standard quadratic equation which we have written down here, we would need to find the values of a, b, and c which are constants. In order to do that, given the points which are the solutions to this uh, quadratic equation, we can determine the three values. So let's start by plugging in those values to help us uh, get the values of a, b, and c. So we will start by point b, by plugging in point b. The main reason for that is since x is equal to zero, that would help us right at the back get the value of the constant c because when we plug in um, x equal to zero these two terms would become zero and we would get the value of c right away so let me just try and explain to you what i'm doing so step one would be plug in the values of the given points into the quadratic equation to solve for constants a comma b comma c so these are small a small b and small c which are part of the quadratic equation so start with point B. Point B, which is zero comma minus four. So what this means is for B, X equals to zero and Y is equals to minus four. Okay, so if I plug it in, we would get minus four is equals to a times zero squared plus b times zero plus c. So I've plugged in those values in the quadratic equation. This obviously becomes zero. This is also zero. We are left with c. So therefore we get right at the back c equal to negative four. Now that we've solved for one value, we can plug in the other two and get two equations to solve for a and b. So now we will plug in a which is negative two comma negative 20, which means the X value for this is negative two, Y value for this is negative 20. So when I plug it in here, I would get negative 20 is equals to A times negative two squared plus B times negative two plus C, C is equal to minus four, so that's minus four. Taking the minus four to the other side, it becomes plus four and we get negative 16 is equals to 
four a minus two b. So that's our first equation which we got in terms of a and b. When we plug in the value of b, which is uh, sorry, point c, we've already used point b. When we plug in the value of point c, which is negative or it's positive four comma negative twenty which means x is equals to 4 and y is equals to negative 20, we get y becomes negative 20, which is on the left hand side, is equals to a 4 squared plus b times 4 minus c, which is 4, negative 4. So negative 4 again goes on the other side and we get negative 16 is equals to 16a plus 4p. So this becomes our second equation. And so now to be able to solve for a and b, we should recall that if we're given two equations which are in two terms, I need to eliminate one of the variables in order to be able to solve for the other variable. So the way I would do that is, um, I, I see right at the back that in this equation, I have negative 2b, and in the other one, I have positive 4b. So if I multiply equation 1 by 2 on the left-hand side and right-hand side, what do I get? So 2 multiplied by, this is not equation 2, this is the number 2 multiplied by the equation 1, we get negative 32 is equals to 8a minus 4b. Now, if I add equation 2 to this, what would I get? Plus equation, I'm adding equation 2. So the way you add an equation to another equation is the left-hand side gets added to the left-hand side and the right-hand side gets added to the right-hand side. Uh, therefore, this becomes negative 32 minus 16 is equals to 16a plus 8a. Let me write the 8 better. Minus 4b plus 4b. So this way, the 4b's gets cancelled. On the left hand side, we get negative 32 minus negative 16, which is negative 48. And then on the right hand side, we're left with 24a. So now if we solve for a, therefore a is equals to negative 48 divided by 24, which is equal to negative 2. So now we have the value of a, we have the value of c, we just need to get the value of b. So the way we get the value of b is we can plug the value of a into any of the two equations, one or two and we will be able to get it. So let's plug it into one. So equation one was negative 16 is equals to four times a minus two times b. Let me just make sure four times a minus two times b. So uh, we know our a is equal to minus two. So therefore it becomes negative 16 is equals to 4 times minus 2 is minus 8, minus 2b. We take the 8 to the other side, the negative 8, it becomes positive 8, and we get negative 8 is equals to negative 2b. Therefore, b is equals to 4. So we get the value of b as well. Okay, so now oh, since we have the value of a, b, and c, we can round up the question. c is negative 4, b is positive 4, and a is negative 2. Therefore, our quadratic equation becomes y is equals to a, which is negative 2, x squared plus b x so b is 4 x plus c and c was equal to minus 4 
zero to the minus four, yeah. So minus four. If you want, you can solve it even further just to make it look better. If you say if you take two common, you would get minus x square plus two x minus two. But again, up till here is also a correct solution. Okay, so just to quickly recap, what we did in this question was we were given three points. We used each of those points to solve for the constants in our generic quadratic equation, which is y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. Once we got the three constants, we can plug them back into the generic quadratic equation to get the final value of find the final expression of the equation. Okay, so let's verify if that's what they have gotten as well. C is equal to negative four. Perfect. And then they make two equations. We get B equals to four and then A equals to negative two. So therefore the final equation becomes negative two X squared plus four X minus four. Awesome. The solution is correct. All right, let's get into the next question.